Hey y'all, it's Roman with Stay Gold Farms. So, today is day 18. So that means we have to put these eggs on lockdown. So this is the first time doing this with the Chick Cozy egg incubator uh, that I'm trying out for the first time, um, that they gave me the opportunity to do this and show you how it works. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm also gonna add some water in the reservoir to bring up that humidity. It's really good to have a high humidity for, um, for this, these last few days. So it goes to 21 days, but usually we like to keep it going all the way up until like 22 days, just to see if perhaps any of the eggs that are still there might hatch even further. So let's go ahead and take out these eggs, put them in a carton, and then we're gonna use this candler, see how that works, and hopefully we'll see some action. Now the thing about this, um, these eggs, these are dark, these are dark uh, olive eggs, so, it might be a little tough to see. So yeah, I may have to use another candler light, but it's pretty it's pretty light in here too. So I don't know if it's gonna work for candling in this room. We may have to resort to another darker room. So let's just try it anyways. I gotta take these eggs out first, put them in a carton, and then, then candle, and then put them back in after I take out all the trays. This is the turner that doesn't need to be on anymore. I'm gonna go ahead, see if I can unplug it. There it is. So that's the turner. You just unplug it. Gently take these eggs out. There's a mat below this that I, I didn't take out, I just left it in there. It's got some neat speckles on it. I'm gonna take this out just for a moment. This incubator did so well the whole time, and it's extremely quiet. Can't even tell it's on. All right, so that's that. All right, and these are the trays. You have to take these out. Right, and this is the mat that they give you for your incubator and you can wash it. So just wanna let you know that's how that works. Down here is the tray for the water. I have this water right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pour some in. You're gonna see this go up. almost immediately. So you want enough to last for the next few day, days, so make sure you fill it up quite a bit. Now what I'm gonna do is put the tray back in with the water. Put this on top here really quick and Turn the lights off. The 
Let's see how we do with the candling. Yep, it's pretty tough to see this. I had a feeling this was going to happen. These eggs are extremely oh, well this one works here in there you can see there's a darkness in there and there's light on top that means this is all good right there you can't see this one at all it's really dark This one, can't see this one either. That's the thing about these olive eggs. It's hard to candle them. So what we end up doing is just putting them in anyways. That one looks good in there. You see a line in there. It was extremely difficult to see those eggs. So I had to go in the darkest little closet, making it extremely difficult for you guys to see this. So I noticed that there was two eggs that were unfertile. So I went ahead and separated those over there. Now I'm putting these ones in that I did. And I still need to candle. Looks like there's seven more there. But meanwhile, I'm gonna lay these down. They can just go lay flat now. And some of them I just couldn't see. I, I did my best, but they are just so dark and extremely difficult to see. All right, so let's go candle these. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in, these two. These ones over here, and I'm gonna take this other one. I'll be right back. All right, well, I went ahead and candled these other eggs here, the seven. And one was a little questionable, this one here, but you know, you never know sometimes. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in anyways. This is, this is a tight squeeze. Quite a tight squeeze. I'm gonna show you something right now that I just made an observation of. So, drop in two out of here, so it's 23 eggs. All right, well, I want you to see this. The humidity right now in here, in this incubator right now is 43. I just closed it up. It looks like it's staying there. Now, check out the humidity just inside this room alone. It's higher. So that's why dry hatching in the south is common. We already have the right humidity to where we don't need to supply water. So just by taking this out, I just observed that and notice that, let's see if it's changed at all. Yeah, it is kind of going up, but I just wanted you to know, this is perfect right here for, for these to hatch in. So we could have, I, I might've been able to just leave it open 
because it is quite humid today and in here so I'm gonna I'm gonna still put it in there anyways just so we can kind of see it from from out here all right so the temp is still you know trying to get up there saying it's 99.9 so I think it's still kind of registering so this is 100 but this is I'm going to kind of base it off of this but that humidity is a little out of whack I think it's pretty high this is showing 43 right now and that looks about right as far as 99.6 so I'm going to kind of base everything on this currently because this is still kind of reading whatever because I had it out here on the table and notice something else day three so this is counting down from 21 down to this day so three days left so that's that's working right so that works well and um, we'll just kind of monitor this I'm not gonna bore you with that yeah it kind of looks like this is kind of like adjusting itself so there is day 18 lockdown for the chick cozy incubator we have a few more days and we'll have some hatchlings. Let's see how that goes. I'll keep you up to date for sure and let you know how things go. Stay gold.